We rolling, we rolling. All right. What up? He's back. All right. Let's see what we got today. All right. Sometimes be making the well. Sometimes I be working, and I be like, should I? I don't bring the camera out. Cause I say, oh, that's boring. That that ain't nothing, nothing to see or whatever. May not be some some something somebody don't want to learn or something like that. So so I don't pull my camera out sometime, and I and I'm probably missing out on, on some good stuff. Cause simple fact, I remember I remember when I used to be in the field, and I still do sometimes. I go to YouTube videos uh, to help me out troubleshooting. I will uh, just type in, let's just say, how to check a contact or something like that, or what's the uh, refrigeration cycle or the cycle of a Hoshisaki um, ice machine. And I found, I find a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good technicians on YouTube. So, <clears throat> I need. I just feel I need to start making more basic videos to the uh, for the new guys. So <clears throat> I started out troubleshooting this unit right here because compressor one is grounded. Okay, I found that out a couple weeks ago. So I pulled a fuse or whatever and gave them a quote on replacing the compressor. So, and also they had some heating element problem. This contactor right here got a bad heating element and it would blow the fuses and burn the contactor up on this one right here. So when I was troubleshooting that though, I took all the fuses out, both compressors, because I didn't want anything to uh, come on by chance. And uh, I was troubleshooting the heater. So, get a call back a week later that compressor two is going off on compressor hardware fault. And I'm, so I, and I'm coming up here, I check my oil pressures, I check every safety known to man that goes to that uh, circuit two. So this circuit two right here, as you see, I got all my stuff out of oil low on oil. So I uh, put some oil in the side glass, I doubt you can see that, but like I say, this compressor grounded, been working on this one right here. Couldn't find anything. No, all my safety. I check continuity on my low pressure switch. Uh, continuity on my high uh, pressure switch. All of them closed. And you always want to check power, you know, to your unit, which I had power though. But I didn't think the, the last thing I checked, I'm like, I, about the hour of troubleshooting this unit. What happened was I put the wrong fuses, I, my grounded compressor, I had them all just laying down here and I put the wrong fuses on this circuit right here. So it wasn't getting uh, the right voltage. But this video, I want to just make uh, of checking how to check fuses with your meter. You can go to this video right here. So this is a 15 fluke 1507, which is my favorite meter, cost about 700 bucks. You got it. If you're just starting out, you got to invest in your tools. When I first started out in the trade, I wasn't making very much money, but I would, every one of my uh, checks, I would go go out and buy a new tool. You know. So, I'm gonna put this on ohms. I'm gonna turn this light off. Put this on ohms. These are my bad fuses right here. See, I got one lead right here on ohms, and I got one on common. Black lead, common. Red lead on ohms. I just like continuity. Okay, so I'm gonna put one in here with my clamps and one end here. Okay, and I'm press test. Okay. 
See, I got greater than 22. That means this fuse is bad. The greater than 22. See that? It ain't too high. I'm gonna put it up some. All right, greater than 22. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to this fuse right here. It's good. You should get a numeric value. It's a greater, greater sign than 22. You know that it's bad. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the fuse that's good. That's why this is a good meter. It's expensive, but it's gonna find any type of ground or anything that you gotta do a lot of terrific thing, insulation meter also. Put the test button. See, I got that value right there. That means that fuse is good. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. Take this fuse out. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna do it right here. I'm gonna put one right here, and I'm gonna put one right here. I'm gonna go to test. See, I get a value that's good. Now, let's say for instance, this right here is just like a blown fuse right here. It's, it has broke continuity. Watch I do the same thing. You can act like, remember this, this fuse right here was blown. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put one right here. I remember when I first started out, I didn't know that. I, I have no idea. So, remember I should get greater than 22 if it's blown because it got a break in it. Electricity cannot flow through here. It can't flow through here, it's gonna stop. It'll stop right here. That's how you know you got a blown fuse, okay? Press test. See, greater than 22. Greater than 22. Okay. That's just like that fuse blown. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just put one right here. And I put one right here. Should get greater than 22. See? Bad fuse. Okay, I'm gonna do one on the smaller ones right here. Okay, I'm gonna do one right here. This fuse should be good. Should have continuity going through there. Should get a numeric value right there. See that? Say one to five to zero, that fuse is good. Okay, that's how you check fuse with that meter. Okay, if you wanna use this meter here, it's a fluke. Uh, fluke, I don't know the name of it, it's, it's a regular fluke meter though, Un under 100 bucks. I love this meter, I just don't like it because it don't have a magnet or anything in it. So, I'm going to go, remember my horseshoe type deal, ohms, continuity, I'm going to go right there, do the same exact thing. Just going to set this, hopefully I can set it well. See that or not? See open line. See that got a beat. It, I mean that it's good. Got continuity. Remember this right here? No continuity. No continuity. Do right here. No, no beat. OL open line. Remember this fuse here was bad. Do the same thing. If it's good, it should get a beat. See that? Open line. Remember this one was good, should get a beep. That one good. All right, let me see how much time I got left. Got nine, about, about three minutes left on this video. So remember, I, I said uh, circuit one compressor was bad. This one right here. This compressor right here is grounded. This one good. I'm gonna follow my lines. I'm gonna check to ground with my Fluke 1507. All right, I'm gonna take this one to ground. Give me a good ground right there. All right, I'm gonna take. Okay, this compressor here, these wires right here go straight to the compressor. I was checking amps earlier on it. 
Well, I tried to. Remember, I said I ain't had no fuse in it, but all right. Set this right here. Put the light on. Okay. See, I got it on ohms. Watch this one right here. I'm gonna go to test. See that? That's grounded. This comp this compressor one right here. I should not get a number on that. See, on this one I should get greater than 22 if it's good. See, compressor compressor one, compressor two. This compressor is good. So get you a fluke. You can tell your supervisor, your boss, and you know how to you know how to uh, check and compress it if it's grounded or not. So, like I say, I got this the common to the horseshoe. Compressor one, two, and three, far as my leads go, my low side. Test. Got a numeric value, no good. See that, no good. Should get greater than 22, no good. That compressor is bad. This compressor is good. Greater than 22. Greater than 22, you wanna check all three legs. And the, and the best way to do it, if you get it, if, if, like on compressor one, since I uh, got a numeric value, you also just want to make sure and you want to come and take all three of these leads off and check right at the compressor, just, just to make sure. Because if you turn this compressor on while it's grounded, it's going to blow your fuses like these fuses are blow, it's gonna blow your fuse and probably trip off your main brake or anything and all the lights in the building will go off. So, um, <clears throat> I need to show you, I'm, 